Good afternoon readers, it's Tilly here from Tilly Shelf and today I'm going to do another short review. So I'm going to be reviewing Matrescence by Lucy Jones. Um, this was a book that came out in 2023 and I don't have it to wave around because I listened to it as an audiobook um, narrated by Lucy Jones herself. Um, so Matrescence is a non-fiction book, it's kind of a memoir of motherhood focused on the idea of Matrescence itself which is a sort of like a second adolescence um, of motherhood, um, as in the complete internal and external transformation um, that people experience when they um, have children and raise children. Um, the subtitle to the book kind of sums this up as the idea of the metamorphosis of pregnancy, childbirth and motherhood. Um, so these days with my reviews, what I try to do is what went well, even better if, and a surprising strength. Um, so I'll start with what went well. Um, I would say this is a very well-researched memoir um, that is not afraid to uh, break down a lot of the perceived knowledge around um, motherhood and caregiving. Um, for instance, um, for me, the a really interesting part was the section on breastfeeding, where she talks about the, the fact that many women do struggle to breastfeed um, and the, the overarching narrative that we currently have where um, it's seen as, you know, everyone can breastfeed but not everyone tries hard enough um, is actually really harmful and unhelpful to women who have genuine struggles with breastfeeding. Um, for me that was particularly interesting because in the past I have um, done a placements as a student um, alongside um, health visitors. Um, these are professionals who work with mums and, and babies in the first kind of months to years of their lives um, and definitely read a lot of material on breastfeeding, found it very, very interesting, um, worked with a lot of people who were supporting mums with breastfeeding. Um, and the the narrative there was very much this narrative that, um, oh, you know, some, <laughs> um, some mothers... Um, not that they don't try hard enough, oh, they struggle with breastfeeding, um, but, you know, if, if they could do it, it just, you know, things get in the way, um, rather than acknowledging that, that actually there are sometimes very, like, very real reasons that, that women can't do it. Um, and, yeah, so I found that very eye-opening, and it kind of, it, it really surprised me. Um, that she, she said, like, she got more honesty about this from a, a dairy farmer who said, you know, sometimes some cows just don't make milk um, than she got from any um, women's health professional. Um, so, yeah, that that was quite an eye-opening section, and I would say that was one of, one of the bits that was most um, interesting to me. Um, moving on to Even Better If... Um, what I found with Matrescence was it was very much um, marketed as, or when I was reading about it, um, it was kind of sold as being a work of non-fiction, maybe a bit like quite quite science-y, neuroscience-y, psychology, um, and that was what I was drawn to. It was The reason I picked it up was it was listed as a top book of 2023 in a couple of places, particularly as a top non-fiction read for 2023, um, and I thought, you know, that, that sounds like it'll be something that would be interesting to me. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so much of a memoir. And for me, I was a little bit disappointed by how much of a memoir it was. Um, I'm not saying that Lucy Jones isn't a fantastic writer. I'm not saying that her story isn't very interesting. Um, like I'm not saying that. I, I did enjoy it. And I did like hearing about the journey that she had uh, particularly it focuses on her journey with her first child so her first pregnancy and first experience of, of childbirth and so on with a couple of references to her two subsequent children as well um it just wasn't what I was looking for and I was looking for a book that was a bit more about women's experiences in general and um, because of the memoir lens what I found was that Jones sometimes neglected to explore what experience of motherhood other than her own might look like. Um, she did have a few interviews with a few different mums um, at various points in the book, but I felt that they were kind of more of a, not exactly a token effort, but uh, that they didn't maybe go far enough. Um, and that was entirely because obviously it wasn't a memoir. So she was thinking about obviously writing about her experience and putting that in a little bit of context with a bit of uh, research and reading around it. Um, whereas what I wanted was was more of the other side. Um, yeah, um, so because of that, I mean, even I would feel I'm quite similar to, to Jones. I'm sort of like white middle-class university educated young woman even with just a very slight generational difference, um, where she's kind of like, I'd say, an early millennial and I'm a late millennial, I'd say our experiences would still be quite different. Um, so, we've, 
you know, if you're looking for a book that would reflect your experience um, and you don't fit that <laughs> kind of exact group, uh, you might not find that this is exactly right for you. But the, I would still say, you know, if this is a topic that interests you, de definitely read it. Um, there's still a lot to, to learn. And a, like at times it's a very emotional journey. Uh, she talks about a lot of the, the very real challenges that she had and the difficulties that she had going through. Um, pregnancy and early child rearing um, in particular about sort of postnatal de depression and the way that that is um, often mishandled by the way that our society is currently set up all of that was fascinating but yeah I just I just felt like this book could have been better if it wasn't if it was informed by personal experience but not necessarily focused on personal experience um, so moving on to surprising strengths then Jones is typically a nature writer we actually have another of her books uh, which is called Foxes Unearthed. Um, so she's more used to writing about the natural world. And one of the, the best parts of this book for me was like del delightful little sn snippets in which she talked about an, a natural phenomenon, like whether an example of motherhood in the natural world, like um, like baby spiders and things. Um, that was really fascinating and it added a lot of colour to the story. I was listening to this as an audiobook, typically while I was walking my dog. Um, so... I was kind of out in, in, in the trees in the woods while I was listening and I liked the um the, the context that, that added. It it really it often kind of brought a smile to my face as she was talking about um you know butterflies and, and fungi and stuff. Um so yeah, those those were the good parts. Um as a comparison point, I would say the book that this most reminded me of is actually the last one that I reviewed on this channel, uh, Unwell Women by Eleanor Cleckhorn, just because they cover a lot of the same ground in terms of talking about the natural childbirth movement and how the origins of that weren't always uh, sort of women focused and um, maternal mental health and issues around that. Um, so there is a bit of overlap in the kind of the subject matter. For me, I did prefer Unwell Women and obviously I can say you can see the review of that if you want to find out why. Um, but I, I still did, you know, enjoy Matrescence um, and I'm glad that I did read it. Um, so yeah, this is not... I'd say this is slightly more than lukewarm as a review, um, but it just wasn't as good as I expected. I really expected this to be, because I'd seen it spoken of as like a top non-fiction book of 2023, I was expecting it to, to really like steal the show for me, um, which it didn't quite get to. Um, so anyway, if you've read this or similar books on similar topics, um, please let me know in comments down below. And yeah, it's good to be good to be back in reviewing books. So speak to you soon. Bye.